Welcome everyone to a new session of some golden nuggets for your success. And the theme of this couple of minutes is attitude of gratitude. And that could be a pretty fitting theme for the seasons we're going in, the Christmas and holiday seasons, where many people have nothing and we can focus on what we actually have, what we can give, because you are here to impact the world and the people around you. And if you look at the world, there's a lot of things to do. And if we take a look at the word, gratitude comes from grateful. And grateful is actually two words, is great and full. So when you are full of great, that means you're grateful. And then good things will happen. This is the life challenge for you. And that is, you can have more and do more because you can become more than you already are. And you know, William James, the great philosopher, I use him a lot of times because he made such a great one-liners. And the one thing made an impact on me was his statement. He said, the greatest discovery of mankind is that people can change their lives if they change their attitude. And he also made a statement about success. And that is, success is an inner ideal followed persistence by courage, was his statement about success. So you need courage to succeed. And most people, they focus on the wrong things. They focus on what they don't have instead of focusing what they really have. And we will attract what we think about. That's its attitude of gratitude. And, you know, the giving is starting the receiving process. So many people don't realize that giving is actually starting the receiving process. Most people, they say, but what's in it for me? What do I get? When they should ask themselves, what am I becoming in the process? Because we will attract what we become. And another thing that's really important in the process when you're becoming is expectations. And expectations is not about expect that you should be successful yourself. It's about expect that others can also be successful. Have great expectations. Because when people feel that you expect something good from them, they will actually be more productive. And they will become more successful. So expectations is a, is a great denominator in your success. It's not only for you. And there's a great story about expectations I heard many years ago. And there was this team of psychologists that wanted to test the power of expectation. So what they did, they said they took a random school somewhere in the United States and they went to that school and said, hey, we're a team of psychologists here and we're going to test out you know, a, a thing that we have. We, we, we're on to something with expectations. And, um, you know, in, in American schools, a lot of schools are private and they actually, you know, they are, uh, they feed themselves from private donors. So it's, donors will give money to schools where the grades are good and less money to the school where the grades are not so good. 
So these psychologists say, hey, we can help you. We can help you get your grades up with your students by the experiment that we have. So they said that we're going to pick out half a class with the best students that you have. And then we're going to pair them up with the best teachers that you have in this school. And then we're going to study them and see how they motivate the, the students and, and follow it up and see how the grades will turn out. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So they picked out the students and they picked out the teachers. So the best students and the best teachers. And a semester went by and they were checking out the results. And it proved that they had, had, the students had improved the results by 20 to 30 percent in their exper experiment. And when they presented this result to the teachers, the teachers go like, well, you know, it was, it was nothing, you know, it was really easy because, you know, we had, the good, we had the best students in the school. So why shouldn't we raise the grades? And the psychologist said, well, this was this experiment and we actually didn't pick the best students. We picked the lousiest students in the school. And the teacher went like, Wow, but yeah, but again, I mean, you had the best teachers, so <laughs> probably that's why we raised, you know, the grades and said, well, we didn't pick the best teachers either. So expectations has a lot to do with people's success. When you expect someone to be successful, they have a bigger chance of succeed. So I think it's a great story that tells us that we should expect good things. If we expect the good things, good things will happen. And we will attract the stuff that we want. And in this theme, I think also that in the end... We need all the stuff. We need the goal setting. We need the focus. We need the action. We need the attitude. Everything. But most of all is action. The most important key of everything is action. When you take action and you feel a little bit down, a little low, that low and down will disappear. Action is the best motivator of them all. So if you do that, the best of your life will be the rest of your life. Because you're not who you think you are. You are who you think you are. Thank you.